hello there and welcome back to Movie Recap. Today I'm going to recap Project Gutenberg. Now warning spoilers ahead, please be cautious. Before we start, please support our channel by subscribing and clicking the bell icon for future notifications. Now let's start. At the beginning of the movie, we see a man named Lee who used to live in Bangkok with his friend. Both of them are painters. He used to make paintings very well. He even used to make very good paintings by using his brain. But Lee was even faster than him. He used to copy every famous painter. His mind was very good in these works. He used to see any painting and make one like that, although his paintings did not get a part in the exhibition because everyone used to say that his paintings were copies of someone else's. But one day, when he goes home in the evening, he hears the words of Yuven and his manager. The manager tells Yuven that if you want to be successful, you should stop working with Lee, because everyone knows about him and knows that he makes copies of paintings. But he replies that I can't stop working with Lee. If you want to go, then go. And one day his paintings will be part of the exhibition. People like Yuven's paintings a lot, but no one likes Lee's paintings. Then a man comes there and insults Lee's paintings a lot. He says, what kind of paintings are these? These are all made by copy. Yuven gets very angry over this. He pours alcohol on that man and throws him out. Then Lee immediately goes after that man, so that he can apologize to him for Yuven's behavior. After going to him, he finds out that that man did all this on purpose. He wanted to meet Lee alone. The man tells Lee that the way you work, the way you work, and the way you copy the painting show that you are an expert in your work. I know your talent very well. Then they meet in a bar and talk while drinking alcohol. That man tells him that I like the way you copy, and you know that your fate can change because of this skill of yours. I have a very good job for you. After all the talks, Lee goes back to the same place where his paintings were put on display. He goes out and burns his painting. Adli was so happy with his work that he was insulted. After doing all this, he calls the same man, who deliberately insulted Lee's painting. He meets him and says, I am ready to work with you, and tell me what kind of paintings I will have to make, so that no one can recognize those notes. He says that we can't print so many fake notes. That's why I can be successful by using your talent. I want to make you a part of my team in this work. After hearing this, Lee gets a little worried, because this work was illegal. But when he thinks that after all this, he is going to play with a lot of money, so he agrees to do this work. After all this talk, Lee will go back to his house. He sees that Yuan has also left the house, because Yuan had to pay for the painting that Lee had burned. In the next scene, we see that Lee is on a private plane with that man. He was going to another setting. That Lee tells that man that I will come back only when I earn a lot of money. I will go to Yuan and only then. On that plane, he had another companion with that man, who will print and sell fake notes. The most important thing here was to print the notes, even if they had a good printer. Still, they could not print the fine lines in the notes properly. So here comes the work of Lee, who could also copy every fine line. And the second thing was that such a paper was used, which no one could easily scratch. The specialty of that paper would be that whenever it was written with a mini 100 dot tie, pen, then he also changed that 100 dot tie to yellow. And in the same way, the people working in the bank also separate the fake notes. Now that man had also gotten that paper, on which he had to make fake notes. Now Lee's work starts here. For many days he has been busy making copies of fake notes. He writes small things on the notes very well. Lee does not even leave a line. And making a picture on the note and then seeing that picture again was a very difficult task. They all use the Chinese method for this work. They put the painting made of the note in the middle of a machine. They put two papers around it as they wanted. Their work becomes exactly like that. The next task was to print the note. A man from that man's team prints the fineness of those notes very well with his skill. He sees that all his work is going perfectly. He passed on every test. He had also found a paper on which he had to print the notes. He goes to a company where that company used the same paper. The size of the note was just right. That's why that man buys a lot of papers. Here, no one should doubt them. That's why they all say that their company works to print books. That's why they want to buy this paper. Now that paper also reaches them, they had made a lot of fake notes. They start their work in a scrap shop, and they deliver fake notes to many of their customers. For six months, Lee does business with that man who prints fake notes. Now he had become Lee's boss. After that, Lee comes back to his city and goes to his friend Yuan's house, because he had something that he had gone to return. He does not meet Yuan there. He keeps that thing and comes back. 
Seeing all this, he tells the man that you are a coward. You got scared of a girl. Look at my courage. To show his courage, he shoots the police officer there. He tells Lee to shoot. But he was scared. That's why he didn't shoot, because of fear. But that man killed all the policemen. But whatever was happening, in front of Lee's eyes, he was very upset because of this. And Lee now thought that his boss was such a crazy person. Who can kill anyone for no reason? He thinks that he just wanted to work with him. Now, Lee was very upset about all this. After this, we see another man in the story. Who was a police officer? Who used to investigate fake notes? That officer was called because the police had come to know that many fake notes were being printed in the city for the past few days. That officer meets with the biggest officer in the city to find out about all this. Both of them hide their real identities. They go on a mission to find fake notes. After meeting a lot of people, they finally get a chance to meet that man, with whom Lee used to work. That is Lee's boss. Both of them reach the ship where they are going to meet him. But he was not there. In fact, Lee's boss's man was there. To know both officers. They investigate them a lot. But they don't know their truth. That's why Lee's boss's men trust them. And include them in their team. On the other hand, Lee goes to his boss. And he says he's sorry. I can't work with you anymore. I am leaving your team. And I will soon find a man for you. Who will work with you. And will also make paintings. And Lee's boss agrees to this. You want to go. You can go. A lot of time had passed like this. We see that Lee's boss's men have spread all over the world and are doing a good job of spreading fake notes. He was earning a lot of money from this work, and at the same time his demand for notes was also increasing. A don of the city also wanted to buy fake notes. That's why he calls Lee's boss, so that he can buy fake notes from him. But we find out one more thing here, that long ago Don had killed Lee's boss's dad, and Lee's boss had come here to give fake notes to Don, but he also wanted to kill him. He had come to avenge his dad's death. That's why he also brings Lee with him here, and says that the bomb is in your jacket. Burn it. But the poor boy scared Lee. He refuses to do this. But after a while, there was a big explosion outside the car. That's when the bullets also start burning there. In this explosion, Don and all his men were killed. But a girl survives this explosion. We used to work with Don. She used to tell Don whether the notes were real or fake. That girl also started working with Lee and his boss. In this way, Lee also becomes very good friends with that girl. And Lee's boss spends a lot of time working. Now those people are taking a long break from their work. That is, those people had stopped their work for a while. But Lee had come back to his city with his boss again. He goes to Ewan's house. He sees that Ewan has become a very famous painter and artist. He had sold more than a thousand of his paintings. But when Lee finds out that Ewan has to get engaged and she is going to get married very soon, he is very sad. His boss says that if you like Ewan so much, then you will have to fight for him. You tell him how much you like him. After saying all this, the boss takes Lee with him, where he had to meet on the ship. Not only that, the boss had also found out about that officer, who was secretly investigating by joining his team. Yet Lee's boss finds out one more thing here, that the police are after him for this reason because the man on his team had broken the rule, who used to print notes. He had bought a watch with a fake note, and because of that, the police were after him. At Lee's boss catches that man, and it also says that you and your family will have to die now. We are all in trouble because of you. You've broken the rules of our work. That man begs a lot. Don't kill him, leave him. Here Lee also tries to save that man, but the boss also follows him. The boss kills him. At Lee's boss meets that officer who was secretly investigating him, but that officer did not know that he has found out all his truth. The boss calls Lee there and says you have to kill this officer. Lee was very scared. His boss to end Lee's fear. To end Lee's fear. He kidnaps Ewan and his fiancée. He gives the gun to Lee and says that these two have hurt you a lot. Kill them. I know you will do this because you hate them a lot. But Lee refuses to shoot this time too. But this time his boss was very angry. At Lee's boss shoots Ewan in anger. But here Lee had recognized Ewan. But his fiancée is killed. Here is the girl who was with the donkey. She is Lee's fiancée. Here is the girl who was with the donkey. She is Lee's fiancée. Because she knew that the boss would kill Lee now. So here she shoots everyone. In this fight, at Lee's boss's men all died. And in the end, Lee also shoots his boss and kills him. Now from here that girl takes Lee to a hotel. 
They both were very scared when they came here. They felt that the boss was still alive because of his dead body. The police had not yet found it. Edley wanted to go back to Yun from here to see if he is okay or not. But that girl stops Lee from coming here. She says, don't go. Your life can be in danger. But Lee does not stop. And he goes. On the way, Lee made a mistake. He burns a fake note, because of which the police had also caught him. He is taken to the police station, where the police interrogated him. But Lee does not tell them anything, because he was very scared. He knew that about his boss. If he says anything to the police, then his boss will kill him. That's why Lee does not say anything to the police. A few days later, a young girl comes to meet Lee. She also tells him to tell the truth, and she also promises him that she will take him away from here, here between the police and Lee. This thing is decided, that if he tells everything to the police, then the police will leave him, and Lee decides that he will tell the truth to the police. He now talks about his old life here. How did he meet his boss? How did he meet his boss? How did they make fake notes? And how did he see a man dying for the first time? He says everything about his boss. He had also made a picture of him, and also of that girl, who used to work for Valadin. The police searched them everywhere, and they start looking for them. The police officer was looking for Lee's boss. That's when he sees them, a similar-looking man. He was wearing a police uniform. That's when the police caught him. But after investigating, it turns out that that man was working for the police for a long time. So how can he be Lee's boss? Of course. The man who looks like this police officer was also Lee's boss. And here we come to know. The real secret of this story, Lee and his boss were both the same man. That is, Lee had made up a story about such a person in his mind, who used to go into the business of making fake notes, so that he could never face such a truth. That he is a bad person. Yet Lee was in the business of making fake notes. He presented himself as a very straight person, in front of everyone. That is, whenever the boss did something wrong in this story, it was no one else's. In fact, Lee used to do it. He had killed everyone so far. Here's another surprising thing. But Lee was released from jail, and he also told Lee, tell the truth. That girl was not Lee, but the girl who worked with Don, she liked Lee a lot. But when an explosion happened, that girl's face was damaged. That's why he got his face surgery and made his face look like a young man. And that's why he came to jail, just to save Lee. After that, that is, we see Lee and the same girl at the present time whose face was now that of a young man. She was spending her life as a young man. When the girl asks him, Do you like me? He says, No, I only love a real young man. But the police never caught them. On the way here, the girl tells I've been roaming here for hours. We are still in this city. She says, Lee, if you are not mine, that I will kill you and myself. Then the police also followed him, surround him here. But in his boat, there is an explosion here. In that explosion, Lee and the girl both died. In the end, we are shown that the police go to a young man. When the young man sees Lee's picture, he remembers that Lee was his neighbor. Here it is. There was never any relationship between Lee and the young man. Yet Lee had made up all the stories in his mind. He likes the young man. He never had any relationship with the young man. And with this, the movie's story ends here.